everyone who's in favor for forward play, raise their hands. Anyone who wants to comment about what their favorite forward play move is, let us know. Fine, I'll tell you what mine is. What? It's the two inch barrel. <sighs> we both like the two inch barrel. Can we just talk a little bit about the foreplay that we're referencing? Because it has nothing to do with somebody else. This, this and this. <laughs> <laughs> it's not necessarily about the size, it's more about how you used your tool. I feel like it's an inch and a quarter. I feel like it's an inch and a quarter Fine. too. This is an inch. This is an inch. That's an inch. Inch and a quarter. Half an inch. Half an inch. Half an inch. Mimi! This is called the foreplay. It's from Numi. You can get it at numi.com. And let me tell you something about this. Yes, we love these three attachments. Yes, we do. But let me tell you something about this one. Lara and I never fight. When we do fight, it's about the foreplay. Yeah. And we wished that we had two four plays, which means that we would have like an eight play, which could get really exciting. Real crazy. Real. Exciting and or crazy. Yeah, both. But look, who can do this with their rod? Oh. I feel so. like we should put this rod on. Well, it seems a bit less exciting, but guess what? Oh. You need one base, four different sizes of rods. One base. There right? is a reason it is called four play. Yeah. Because it's not one play, it's not two play, it's not three play, but it's four play. So I don't know if you guys can see how simple and easy it is to use. It's regardless of how long you keep it, what you do, it's dummy proof. Michelle and I always talk about effortless beauty. And we always talk about how we want it to look like although we know we put a lot of effort into it most of the time. We don't want it to look that way. And this curling iron has the most, it's not too curly. Obviously you can tell we keep the end out like we do with every other curl. You can dress this look up, you can dress it down. It can be dressy, it can be glamorous, it can be casual. It just works. And it's all about the foreplay. Don't even try and like walk out of the house and rock it without foreplaying it. Fine. They could have a mantra with this foreplay. Hmm. They could like grab it, twist it, hold it, nurture it. Mm hmm. And then let it go. You know? Mm. Totally. Okay. So, you know what, whenever I've done this in the next day, I won't even almost touch my hair because we like the front pieces perfected. We do those last, just like we do in every other curl. I'm gonna hurry through this and then Michelle and I will show you how the finished product looks, right? Yes, ma'am. We just hold it. No one's paid us to do this video. Right. No one has sponsored us. This is something that we legitimately have been excited about doing a video on because we love this. Because there are a million favorite curls, but a lot of times we have to tweak it, we have to do things to it, which actually is fun and it's always fun to get a new look. We're not discounting. I kind of like to hold it up sometimes because it, and then let it go because it gives it that, just gives it enough of a twist and it yeah. just. Yeah. So, this is the fastest, most efficient, safest, and beautiful way you could curl your hair. So, why wouldn't we be passionate about the foreplay? Mm. Can you even wait, Michelle, until we show them what we do with all of the rods in the foreplay? No, I can't. Funny bring that up. And SJP is going to be so happy about it. <sighs> God bless her. So, we hope that you 
Love. Love. Before play. Amazing. Don't ever forget where it starts.